Welcome back to the Two My Friends. I'm Robert Wallace. This is a place where we ask, are we choosing the way of Jesus or are we choosing our own way? Again, our passage is Luke chapter 4 verses 1 through 13 this week. I invite you to read that and to dig in. Allow the Holy Spirit to help you see what God's Word has for you. Choices at Every Turn is the title of our devotional today. Now, we don't know much about what happened to Jesus between the ages of 12 and 30 because no one covered those years in any of their writings. In Sunday, when I opened my message to our congregation, I talked about identity, how our identity is formed by family, parents, our cultural heritage, those we associate with in our neighborhoods. All of these work together, and we are the sum of everyone that we interact with. Everyone that we spend time with has an input on us and we them. So all of these things come together to help form our identity. And then when we accept Christ as our Lord and Savior, we get a new identity in Christ. And we need to start building that up with the right things, namely being in God's Word, prayer, worship, going to church, spending time with other Christian friends, all with the same goal, to allow the Holy Spirit to fill us and lead us in our journey. What we don't know is the choices that Jesus made between 12 and 30. We know that he was a kid, he grew up, he worked in his dad's shop, he probably hit his thumb with a hammer once or twice, got a splinter, he experienced everything in life that we experience. And we talked about that with regard to the temptations yesterday. And my point is, is that as Jesus grew up, he grew stronger in his relationship with God the Father by daily walking in God's plan for him in this life. And all of these experiences built on top of one another, like all building blocks. You get the building, you get the the foundation laid out straight and true, and then all you have to do is make sure that each stone goes in its place to continue to build upon that foundation. Right choices are difficult, they're hard, and yet we see that with Jesus, it is possible to make the right choices. Trusting the Holy Spirit to guide us in all truth is a right choice. Trusting the Holy Spirit when we're led to do something is the right choice. When Jesus was tempted to turn the stone into bread, he replied with a quote from Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 3. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Then when Satan offered Jesus the whole world, and offered to put him in charge of it all, which was a lie, by the way, Jesus simply responded with Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 13 and through 14. Jesus said, Fear the Lord your God and serve only Him. Luke records it as, Worship the Lord your God. Then, in the final attempt to get Jesus to throw Himself so that God would send His angels to protect Him and save Him, Jesus responded, with Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 16. Do not put the Lord your God to the test. At every turn, what's Jesus doing? He's relying on his relationship with God and God's word to defeat the devil. Let me ask you these questions today. Do we believe knowing Scripture is powerful? Do we believe using Scripture as Jesus did is the right choice. Do we believe worshiping God is a matter of bringing all of ourselves into service to God? Are we going to choose the way of Jesus that leads to life and life in the full, or are we going to choose our own way? Now I'm praying for all of us today that as we Go back and read this passage as we consider what I've shared here today and consider the questions that I've been prompted to ask you, that we will invite the Holy Spirit to give us eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from His Word. 
that we will have receptive hearts and minds to receive these truths. And then, today, we're going to take a step of faith with the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus to do what the Holy Spirit leads us to do. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.